Elementary students in Columbia will finish the calendar year online starting tomorrow as COVID-19 cases spike in the area. ABC 17's Connor Hirsch joins us live at Parkade Elementary School after checking in on how teachers are prepping for the move online. Connor, the Board of Education made this decision on their last meeting on Monday. In Sydney, starting tomorrow, these doors behind me will be closed to students as the district is hoping to find a balance of education and also safety for the community. But this isn't the first time the district's youngest learners have had to go virtual, which one teacher said is an advantage for this move. So it'll look a little different, but I think it will still feel familiar to students. Elementary teachers are prepping for the return to virtual learning tomorrow. Third grade teacher Ariel Schwarting saying she was disappointed, but ultimately understands why the board made the decision. It's just kind of sad to to be in your own little world and things are going so well and then you have to make a change that will hopefully help the entire community for the better. While online learning comes with its own set of challenges for all students, Shorting said elementary education may be tough, saying the younger the student, the more technology can create a barrier. Their main focus is still learning their letters and numbers and reading and all of those fundamental skills that now Having to learn this technology is just kind of taking away from that, I think. But she said many students have learned very quickly in this age of technology, which Johanna Cox, the parent of a middle school and high school student, said has presented new ways of learning. I do think that our teachers are working extra hard right now. Um, they're connecting with kids in a different way. Our, our students are growing up in a technical age, and maybe they are being connected to more on their level. Her partner, Stephen Quackenbush, agreed, saying while there's some struggles with virtual learning, it's what he believes needs to be done right now. We are in the middle of a pandemic, and so we recognize that we might not do things the same as we would if we weren't in a pandemic. So. And the district hopes to bring elementary students back here to the classroom on January 11th, while they hope to bring secondary students back to the classroom four days a week on January 19th. Reporting live in Columbia, Connor Hirsch, ABC 17 News. The move comes as COVID-19 rates within the district have spiked. The 14-day rate per 10,000 people in the district reached an all-time high on Friday at 99.8.